you're anything like me, you probably struggle with the idea of getting out there and being visible. I know I definitely did in the early days of my business. Didn't like seeing myself on film. I didn't like seeing myself on camera. I didn't like photographs of myself. I didn't like the sound of my own voice. So if that is how you feel, you're not alone. In this video, we're going to tackle it head on and I'm going to give you some tips on how to overcome it. Some of the tips that I've used myself that have really helped. We're also going to talk about something called the spotlight effect and I'll explain what that is and stick around because I've got five specific actionable steps that you can take starting right away to boost your visibility and grow your brand. Let's get started. Hi there, I'm Bev. Welcome to the channel. If you're first time here, if you're returning, hello again. I'm a business coach and a mentor and I've been working for myself now for over six years in the corporate well-being space. And over those years, I've had to get used to getting on camera and getting visible. I had to do this a year or two ago when I did a TEDx talk, but in order to grow my business, I had to get visible on places like LinkedIn and Facebook and Instagram and just getting out there and networking. Because the truth is, being visible is essential if you want to grow your business and grow your brand, especially if you are your brand. Because, well, there are a few reasons really, but if customers don't know who you are, they won't buy from you. And when your audience sees you, they form an opinion of you. Some will like you, some won't like you, that's fine. There's a saying, some will, some won't, so what? But when those that get to see you realize they like you, they will then go on to not just like you and know who you are, but you'll build trust with your audience. And that's an essential factor when it comes to selling to your audience. When you're highly visible and you're consistently visible, even if your audience aren't ready to buy from you right at the moment that they see you, if they continue to see you, you'll be top of mind when they're ready to buy from you. And the other reason why visibility is so important is because when you are visible, you're opening yourself up to opportunities. If nobody knows you, nobody can offer you those opportunities. So what is it that stops us from getting confident and feeling comfortable, getting on camera, getting out there and getting seen? Well, a lot of it is down to fear of judgment and a worry that people are going to think we're saying something silly or we look different in some way. They, they might judge us for our style, they might judge us for our appearance, they might judge us for our opinions and it's all perfectly normal. But there is something in social psychology called the spotlight effect. And the spotlight effect is a cognitive bias or a, an egocentric bias where we overestimate how much notice other people actually take of us. We have a distorted idea of how much attention people place on us. And we worry that they're noticing all of the things that we notice about ourselves that we perhaps feel embarrassed about or we don't like about ourselves so maybe we say something and we get that horrible foot in mouth moment where we think oh I really wish I hadn't said that and we dwell on it we ruminate on the embarrassment and the humiliation when in reality everybody else has probably forgotten about it when we focus on ourselves we can become really over critical and we worry about things that really don't matter that much to other people and we can get into analysis paralysis analyzing every word that we're going to say every item of clothing that we're going to wear we censor every thought we want to share and while we're worrying about the really unimportant stuff we're actually denying our audience from hearing the important stuff that they need to make their life better. So how can we turn the spotlight away from us and onto our audience? Because that's what we really need to do to get over this fear of judgment. Well, we have to shift our mindset away from being self-focused to being others-focused. And when we do that, we 
focus on the problems that we are solving for our audience. And there are some companies that do this in their branding really, really well. Think of companies like Tesco, Every Little Helps. They're talking about their audience. You know, every little bit of money that you can save can help you. So it's very customer focused. Sainsbury's, live well for less. It's about the audience. How can they provide value to their audience? L'Oreal, because you're worth it. Interestingly, if I remember rightly, when L'Oreal first used that sort of tagline, the line was actually because I'm worth it. And they changed it to focus outwards on you rather than focusing inwards, which I think is really insightful. Just let me know if the sort of spotlight effect is something that you've recognized in yourself. I know I definitely did. So let me know how did it show up for you? What is it stopping you from doing and what's your biggest fear? For me, it was always around my appearance. Did I look the part? And the other thing was always my voice. I always had this sort of hang up about how I sounded. And these two things, how I looked and how I sounded, would stop me in my tracks. So let me know what's been the biggest block for you in getting out there and getting seen. Let me know how you've overcome it as well, because this is something that we all struggle with. And I've got some tips for you, but your tips might just help somebody else as well. So the t first tip is a mindset shift. And we've touched on it already. It's about shifting the focus from self to others. When you do this, it takes so much pressure off you because you're not having to worry about you. All you're thinking about is, how can I serve my audience? And that feels very different. So that's tip number one, make the shift away from self and towards others. Tip number two is about overcoming that need for perfection. We all make mistakes. We all say things that we didn't mean to say. I did a video a couple of weeks ago where I sat on camera and I said I'm a 52 year old woman and I'm not I'm 58 and I actually took that video down and refilmed it because I felt so silly about making a mistake about my age in reality would anybody really notice do you know what I bet they probably wouldn't so I give myself a whole load of work for no reason so Get over the perfectionism, have some self-compassion in the fact that we all make mistakes and actually chances are you'll notice them far more than anybody else. Okay, tip number three, and this is so useful, is to seek feedback from people that you trust. Ask for constructive feedback to help you understand how you're actually perceived, not how you think you're perceived. We have stories that we tell ourselves that often aren't founded in any kind of evidence. So ask people that you trust, how do they perceive you? How do they think other people perceive you? And you'll probably find that how you're perceived is very different from the fears that you are telling yourself. Tip number four is to take baby steps. You know, getting out there and being visible is something that you can grow into so start small start putting a photograph of yourself on your LinkedIn posts start engaging more in Facebook groups getting out a bit more to networking events start putting yourself out a little bit at a time speaking up a bit more at networking events putting yourself forward for five minute slots to speak but just taking tiny baby steps and tip number five is to actually celebrate your wins so if you do push yourself out of your comfort zone celebrate it reward yourself acknowledge that you've taken a step forward because that is going to encourage the brain to feel good about getting visible as, a, as opposed to fearing it you're letting your brain know that there's a, a positive reward from your endeavors. If you found value in this content, 
please do consider giving me a, a like and a subscribe and share it with anybody that you know who struggles with getting out there and getting seen, especially if they're starting in business because, as I said earlier, you cannot sell to customers if they don't know that you exist. A really good place to start with getting visible in your business is to get comfortable sharing your story. So you're going to want to watch this video next.